Good morning, everyone. This morning, I was inspired to speak about doctrine. I saw a post on the internet on my Facebook where a friend of mine was preaching from his heart rather than according to what is written. So as somebody that knows what is written, I have to speak up. I cannot see something that I know that is like biblically incorrect and not say anything about it, you know, and I don't want problems with God because God knows that there's things that I know. And if I don't say it, God will hold me accountable. So doctrine, doctrine is actually very important, guys. And I'm going to go to what is written. I will always go to what is written so that you guys know that you're not listening to to me. Don't ever think like, oh, I'm not going to listen to him. It's, it's not about me. It's, it's about what is written. And if you don't like my personality and that affects you not listening to what is written, that's too bad. So let's go to what's written. Second John chapter one and verse nine. It says right here, whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. So it's saying whosoever sins transgresses to sin and abide not means to stay not in the doctrine of Christ has not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he that stays in the doctrine of Christ, he has both the Father and the Son. As believers, we are supposed to believe the doctrine of Christ, the apostles' doctrine. That is the doctrine that we are supposed to speak and believe. No other doctrines, 